More time. That's what a groundbreaking new drug could buy for some of the 6 million Americans dealing with Alzheimer's. Today, the FDA approved the treatment despite mixed reviews. CBS's Brittany Edney joins us live in Atlanta. She's explaining the benefits. Brittany, good evening. Sean, good evening. You know, the Alzheimer's Association is calling this approval a victory for those with the disease and, of course, all of their family members and loved ones. You know, we spoke with one area family who has been dealing with this for nearly a decade about what they thought about this news. Denise Gerke was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's disease in her mid 50s. And over the last decade, her family has supported her through the decline caused by the disease. Her husband and longtime caregiver Dan says Denise is now in the final stages. By all accounts, we are probably down to the final weeks of, of her life. Quite frankly, she's um, it's progressed that much that she's not eating much. She only weighs about 68 pounds and uh, it's just it's really tough to see her at this point. It's called aducanumab and was developed for patients with mild cognitive impairment. So those in the early stages. While it can't help Denise, Dan says it's a renewed hope for so many families. Uh, being a caregiver for my wife is just a tremendous burden, and uh, there are millions of others out there that are just struggling with anything that will help. So if this drug can slow the progression down, then we're all for it. Aducanumab aims to slow the disease and not just ease symptoms. The Georgia chapter of the Alzheimer's Association says it's important for families to act on any concerns because this drug is for those early stages. Sometimes we'll hear people say, well, I've noticed this, but I don't want to say anything. And we always say, have a family meeting, talk about it and address it so that you can get everybody on the same page and see a physician. And I think it's important to not take our foot off the pedal and that we need to continue to, to research this disease, research medications uh, that can help uh, the, the person with the disease and keep going. Under this approval, the drug will be required to not only have studies continued, but also have trials and their results to verify those benefits. Reporting live in Atlanta, I'm Brittany Yedney, CBS 46 News.